Beyond this barricade is the road to the Prime Minister's offices. Between them and those are reinforced lines of riot police. They broke down this scaffolding to try to build up their defences. But then the police helicopter appeared overhead. And everyone knew what was coming. The helicopter is uh, defining, it is uh, their uh, filming one to uh, try to determine what they're going to do soon. Because they throw a bomb. What's happening now is the police are firing tear gas canisters into the protesters further down the hill to try to drive them back up here towards Taksim Square. They've stopped here the and what is a barricade and they are determined to hold their position. We saw a number of people injured among the crowd, at least two near us with wounds to the head. The protesters have claimed the police are firing rounds directly at them. In this shot, you can see the canister of gas lands directly in front of the camera. This, they say, is why they need to keep control of this square. This protest started here beneath the trees of Gezi Park. But it's not about the trees here anymore. This is the Turkish national anthem. And this, they say, is about freedom and fundamental rights. The Prime Minister says these are naive, emotional feelings, led by extremists. But it doesn't feel that way. This is not a game, or this is not for teasing, you know, for having fun. We are just uh, want to have the democracy. There are people here from many different backgrounds, high school students, socialist workers, teachers, artists, doctors. It's part peaceful democratic ideals, part just wanton destruction, a defiant carnival of protest. We met Dogen here, camped out in what was a police security point. They've acquired a baton now and a renewed determination. They feel they're part of something that's gathering a momentum of its own. It's the first time in Turkey's history we are all together against, you know, state repression. We are all together. They're calling this now the People's Park, and these people intend to retain control. These volunteers are handing out free food. Beneath the table is lemon juice to help with the tear gas. People are donating what they can. Some are forming groups to clear up this park. There are lawyers offering free advice to anyone who's been arrested. Prime Minister Erdogan left Turkey for a three-day visit abroad. He said he had no intention of changing his plans to deal with the situation here. This, he said, was only noise. Katie Stallard, Sky News in Taksim Square, Istanbul.